Welcome to Real Talk Transforming Your Energy, May edition. As always, the guests on this show have been very, very exciting. They have really great stories, and I'm super, super stoked to introduce to you a friend of mine that I've known for years that is also doing his own thing, continuing to grow, be a proud dad. Just lots of good stuff he's going to share with you today. But to give you the official introduction, I'm Rosemary Dominia. I'm the founder of Reaching New Depths Coaching. And welcome again to Real, Tr Real Talk Transforming Your Energy in 2021. My guest for May is Sergio Jaimes Vagare. Hello. <laughs> and I want to give him an official introduction. So Serge is an online health and fitness coach and founder of the Positive High System and Rooted Parent Movement, a certified health, fitness, and wellness coach since 2013. His passion is helping passionate parents feel like their younger selves again without the stress of restrictive dieting and hours of grueling workouts so they feel confident in their abilities to care for and fully enjoy life with their children. Right on. Uh, with this increased mental, physical, and spiritual self-confidence, they're able to feel their positive high and create movement memories with their children and be an example of positive health, fitness, and wellness. Hence why the theme of this talk is staying rooted in your positive high. Sergio, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. How are you today? No, good, dude. Yeah, just super <laughs> be here like for real it's like we've known each other for years you know back when you know i was living in bay with you know fitness therapy and all this stuff and we always like chat before your sessions and it's, <laughs> it's true. even if you're like you know there like an hour before we like talk the whole time so it's like just being here in the space with you talking stories again it's it feels good dude i know i think our our journeys and we said this from the start when we start to get to know each other in the like before i would work out um how parallel they are to each other and i think i've seen some tremendous change and growth like new things that are evolving for you so for those who don't know you i would love for you to share like how this all came about um and share your personal story first off and what you do from your own yeah, so, uh, yeah health and fitness coach uh you know started off uh you know live training people one-on-one -on -one, and then you know the pa pandemic hit and then had to shift and adjust and now i'm doing everything online and now that things are opening up you know eventually this train uh looking forward to training a couple people live face to face because i love that interaction with the uh, you know, the energy and, um, you know, being face to face with someone and, uh, yeah, and, but the online space, it's, uh, it's, it's a blessing because I get to work with people, you know, I have uh, clients in New York, I have clients back home in Hawaii, I have clients back in the Bay. So it's like, I, I can help, you know, and connect with, with people from all over still and still do what I love to do. And, you know, that is, you know, helping people move, groove and improve and, mm -hmm. you know, just, uh, you know, feel better. That's a, the, the, the main thing is, you know, feeling good uh within yourself uh w w within your movement within mm -hmm. your nutrition your restoration your mindset and, and that whole holistic view of everything dude and you know just uh that's the whole thing about staying rooted in your your positive high so it's um yeah if you well if you want to can dive deeper into yes. you know my story of like how please i got do. started you yes, know please do and you have to talk about your son because i know your son is a oh, yeah, huge yeah, 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 part yeah. of your journey now which is yep. really amazing to see even his growth um, just oh. how big he is. But anyway, yes, please share your story. I, for real, like I brought him to the gym, uh, you know, since he was like what three. So <laughs> and that, that was gonna be seven, dude. It's it's, it's nuts, dude. But uh, no, yeah. So basically, you know, in my early mid twenties, it's you know party boy action, and you know it's it's really just um you know just uh you know just I used to party to not only have a good time and enjoy time with with, with my friends and stuff, but there was another deeper layer to it where i would use you know alcohol and partying to escape my reality you know what i'm saying so here like i will be in a lot of uh, you know deep you know self-doubt deep uh, negative self-comparison and i would you know use alcohol and partying to uh you know uh, escape that that feeling of you know feeling like i'm being left behind or mm -hmm. feeling like i'm not as successful as you know my college classmates so or i'm not as successful as the people that i work with so uh oh I was working radio promotions at the time and working at hotel. So it, it was a nice mix of, you know, uh, partying basically <laughs> and it's, it's escapism uh, via, um, you know, partying and everything. So uh, cycle would be like, I would just like think and compare myself to others, you know, and, you know, just put myself in mental prison. And then mm -hmm. I would, you know, go out and party and forget about it, you know, for, you know, three to six hours. And then, you know, uh, do that to maybe four times a week, as far as the cycle of, you know, like negative self-talk, negative self-doubt. And then he's like, oh shoot, let's just party and forget about it. And then get into, oh, I'm hungover. I want to change my life. I don't want to do this anymore. And then deep down inside, I always knew I wanted to, you know, help people and 
you know, um, create change, not only for myself, but for others, but I just didn't know what I wanted to do. So mm -hmm. then there I'll go into that introspective, like, Oh, I, I'm so lost. I don't know what to do in my life. And then, you know, the party scene would come back, come back again. It's like, all right, cool, let's do it. And they would just be this perpetual cycle until eventually I, I found my, um, uh, we're doing a, a fitness expo for the radio station, uh, a live broadcast. And then we had a break. So we were walking, me and my friend were walking around and my future trainer, uh, and slash mentor, uh, and his wife had a booth up. They just opened up the gym and they're giving away their free, like uh, they're giving away a, a post-workout smoothies. So I was like, oh shit, smoothie. All right, I'm down. So uh, tanked the smoothie, started talking to Eddie and Hannah and they had a, um, uh, a TV monitor. And then they had their, their highlight uh, video of their warrior class. It was, it was a mix of, you know, uh, high intensity interval training. So they had like battle ropes and like, you know, tire flips. And like, I've, I've never done that before. And I've, I've seen it on like, you know, Facebook and stuff, but I haven't really experienced it. So they're like, oh, we have a free class if you want to jump in. I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. Signed up. And then uh, that following Monday, Hannah called me up. She was like, hey, uh, it's Hannah from EC Fitness. Do, do you want to come in for your free session? I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then eventually I, I went in, fast forward, got into the class, invited some of my friends in. And like, I just realized like, you know, in the class, everyone's sweating, everyone's working hard, everyone's there for their own reason. But then, you know, it eventually got me to the path towards fitness. I was like, oh, shoot, I feel good. Like, this is, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to, you know, make, make an impact it is like help people to, to feel how I'm feeling. So basically what happened was I started shifting. I was still drinking and partying, but I wasn't going as hard as you know before so like you know i wanted to go to his saturday classes so friday nights i would i wouldn't stay out as late because i wanted to uh work out with the the morning crew on saturdays and then um yeah just kept going to his class and eventually i couldn't afford his classes <laughs> so um we, we did a, like a kung fu feng shui, feng shui master freaking action where um it was just him and his wife so i was like hey dude i have experience with events and social media and marketing, uh, do you want to do trade? Like, I'll, I'll help you out with your your, your Facebook, um, your social media, and um, you know your basic marketing. And if you have events, I'll come help set up and stuff. Uh, if we do trade for for classes, he was like, "All right, I'm down." So that's when the the union started. As far as and, oh, and then I told him like, "Oh, I'll help like full towels, clean the gym and stuff, sweep, uh, and just clean up and everything." And he's super down with it, dude. So I was like, "All right, cool, let's go." So that was the beginning of like my unofficial like internship into the fitness world. So um, yeah, then eventually uh, he saw my hunger and I, I told him, say, hey, dude, this is at first I wanted to go into like marketing and promotion, seeing how that would work with the, the, the fitness world. But this was back in like 20, to, what, 2012. Yeah. So there and, and then it was on Oahu. So it's like it wasn't as expensive as if, if it were to you know, do it, say, in like the Bay Area. Uh, as far as like marketing stuff, he was like, oh, shoot, to be honest, like if you were to stay local here, the, the way to uh, enter is, you know, um, uh, fitness as, as a personal trainer. So I was like, oh, okay. And then got into the personal training. I was like, oh, shoot. Okay. And then he was like, if you want to get into this, you really have to study. You really got to know about the body. Then I was like, oh, shit. I thought you just tell people what to do. So <laughs> he was like, no, dude, because he, he, he has a master's in um, uh, exercise science and uh, kinesiology and stuff. So yeah. he brought all of his textbooks. He's like, boom, boom, boom. He's like, okay, here, you, you got to read all this. You got to know all of this. So I'm a communication major, dude. So I was like, what the hell? So, you know, he, he told me I got to know about like, you know, uh, anatomy and physiology and, you know, the skeletal system, muscular system, ner nervous system. Then I was like, what the, oh, smokes. I was like, I don't know all this. He's like, yep, you got to know all this and you got to know how to coach people, how to, oh interact with people and how to relate with people. And he was like, oh, you're already good with that. Now you just have to build up your skills with the knowledge base of how the body moves, how, you know, uh, different injuries and stuff. So he would like test me. It was like, oh, if someone has like medial knee pain or whatever is like, or, or even like an injury, what would you do? And I was like, oh, shit. And then there, it, it, it was like a hands-on, like full-on like um, internship. So I was pretty stoked with that. And then Boom, got certified, started going with him. And then fast forward to um, 2014, um, oh, got certified 2013. Then fast forward to 2014, that's when um, uh, we're expecting Elijah. So basically, Joe moved yeah. to the mainland, then I stayed back to uh, on Oahu. 
and then found out that um, we're expecting. So I made the move to Bay Area in 2014. So uh, that's when, yeah, I, that's when I actually started my, my personal training career officially because um, I was at UFC Gym Honolulu for about three, three or so months. And then I quit there, went back to EC Fitness, and then and then I made the big move to the Bay Area. Mm. So that's when things really wow. started to um, gain traction and, and like really fast forward. So um, yeah, dude, that's basically my story, my fitness story in a nutshell, and like how I, you know, discovered my positive high. Because in there, it's like I I even told Eddie and, and Hannah one day I was like, hey, dude, if I can change someone's life the way you changed my life through health fitness and you know through health and fitness and movement i'll be i'll be stoked dude I'll be super stoked and yeah that was after a, a warrior dash because mm-hmm. i never used to do that stuff dude i used to just i mean i, I used to be basketball i was you know i was you know i was active but i wasn't healthy and fit if that makes sense no that makes sense so there's something interesting i want i want to ask you and i thank you for sharing all that i didn't even know how to be honest, your transition of moving from Hawaii to here, this is the first time I'm hearing about that. Yeah. Vital was like, wow, makes yeah. perfect sense how that, I mean, that was a big life transition because you're bringing in, you know, a child into the world. But yeah. I wanted to highlight the cycle that you noticed when you were in Hawaii. Because I think for a lot of folks who, and maybe you can agree, disagree, either way, I mean, express your opinion on this, but when folks start to go through a change or self development and self growth, their first has to be, an analysis of where their life is now. So hence seeing what is actually going on before moving forward, because without knowing that piece, in some, in some sense, you're repeating that same cycle because you don't actually know what's going on, what's going on and having clarity around that. So that's a really important aspect to know when you start off with a transition or change. So I'm just curious for you, I know that there was a change in terms of your job and like fitting into these different parts, but with your partying and all that, that was going on. What was that turning point for you to really be like, Hey, I need to get this together and something needs to change because you did say that some things were changing and then you just kind of fell back into that cycle. And it took some practice. It sounded like, like you had awareness around it, but it took like small steps to actually get there. So if you can elaborate more on that. Yeah. So basically, yeah, it was just, um, you know, one of my, good friends and my, my former roommate, Chris, who is, is all into, um, you know, mindset and, um, you know, uh, the subconscious mind and like, you know, planting seeds and stuff. So he, he actually like put me on, on that path of, of growth. He, he gave me the book, uh, the power of the Sub- subconscious mind by, uh, Dr. Joseph Murphy. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the books like that started to like change, you know, my perspective and view on life as far as, you know, um, becoming aware you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. the, that awareness of my, my thought process and awareness of, you know, um, my, my, my feelings and, you know, my actions and my habits and everything like that. And, um, you know, just, I think that was pro- probably one of the turning points too there is, you know, having my, my friend Chris there and then my, my other friends who, who were, who were also in, you know, with me in my party scene, as far as like the radio, like my friend, Justin, like we both want, wanted to, you know, do something, but, we we're both in, in, in like that, that same uh, cycle of like mm. stepped out and then they give some comparison and then, oh shoot, you know what? It's, it's just stay here. It's, it's comfortable. So, but um, as far as like pinpointing a certain point where it's like enough's enough. Um, I remember one, one time I was like in the kitchen with, with Job, just like freaking like my, my hands in my head like this, like in tears, like not knowing what I, I wanted to do. And like, you know, my perspective there was because some self-comparison as opposed to, you know, realizing, you know, the goodness that, that was around me because I was living in Hawaii. I had, you know, I was able to pay my bills. I was able to do, you know, uh, X, Y, Z. I was able to do the things I wanted to do. It's just, I put myself in, in, in this mental prison. So that's what, one of the turning points that made me realize like, oh shoot, I do want to change, but I don't know where to go. And then there, once I found... Uh, EC Fitness, that was another turning point in my life was, you know, that, that decision to just go to the class and continue to go to class. Cause even though it was tough, you know what I'm saying? It, it was like, it, it, was, it, was, it was a tough class, dude, but it was like, it was addicting. So mm-hmm. that's where the, the, the positive high uh, part came to it. So there it's like, you know, afterwards you just feel like accomplished and good. So there I was like, Oh shoot, I, I, I want, 
I want to help other people feel this way too. So yeah. that was, you know, the other turning point where it's like, okay, this is it, dude. This is it. No, I love that. I, a friend of mine I used to work with a few years ago, the quote, this quote always sticks in my mind, but once you allow the space to be open, it will be filled. Yep. So it's not like you giving room to that change, even though you didn't know what was going to happen. Presented yep. your, it's like the universe presented you with these opportunities. Like here, you know what? Here's something you can try out. And you kept going on that trail. So that's awesome. I, yep. I can't even say I'm like learning about you even more <laughs> in these last like 16 minutes. And I've known you for a few years about the details of your life, but wow, that's powerful. Well, thank you for sharing that. I, Thanks, dude. Yeah. It's, for people uh, to even hear like that kind of, if you guys who are watching live or who are tuning in with us, hello to you, by the way, and thank you for joining us live. And for those of you who are watching the replay, I mean, Sergio has, again, an amazing story in what he just shared about recognizing a cycle in his pattern and then also taking a chance on opportunities that led him to be where he is now. So what are you doing now? Because I know you mentioned a few things about that, but yeah, tell, tell us what you do. Yeah, so uh, mainly working with parents, but you know, if, if there's not parents who, who wanna uh, you know, just basically feel better to you know, move, groove and improve and really just uh, improve their life overall as far as their health, fitness and wellness without you know, judgment and you know, uh, without uh, you know, strict dieting, without hours and hours of grueling workouts where you're just beating yourself up and you know, just it's really, their life doing what they so it's, uh, yeah it's uh that's the the main thing i do right there is you know helping people via health fitness and wellness and that's through you know mindset movement nutrition restoration and um you know supportive environment uh and really looking at that holistic scope of someone and and really providing a safe space to to help them grow so uh currently i'm, I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one, uh 12 week programs and then um i'm also uh in the, in the works of doing uh creating a um a beta uh, program for uh, my, my rooted parent movement. So it's a six week uh, rooted parent movement uh, program there, um, re revamping that thing there and um, uh, the TBA to, to be announced to, for, for, for the, uh, the, the launch and everything. Cool. But for, yeah, for the most part, that's uh, what I love to do is, you know, creating that safe space for others to, to help them, uh, you know, grow within their own parameters. So mm -hmm. I have, you know, my set of, you know, habits and, um, you know, um, methods and everything and, you know, adding on their, um, uh, habits and what would they, they want to accomplish mm -hmm. and really coming together to create the person that they, you know, want to be. Yeah. So uh, through health, fitness and wellness. So well, that's awesome. And I, I know you weren't working with parents specifically. So yeah. what, what was the shift for you to now focus on parents? Yeah. The shift was basically, you know, me being a parent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that changes it up, huh? <laughs> so 100%. Yeah. So basically, um, you know, back in 2016, I fully like quit alcohol, like full on like cold turkey, like right, right after my, my friend's um, wedding, I was like, I made the conscious decision. I was like, all right, dude, after Bobby's wedding, I'm just going to stop drinking. Because, you know, once Elijah was born, and once I moved to the Bay, I, I wasn't party surge, you know, freaking 2010. But I would still do the cycle of, you know, I'll have a beer here for a week. And then next week I'll have two or three. And the next week mm. I'll just like, all right, let's get hammered. And then there yeah. it's like, oh, I'm never going to drink again. And then I realized like, as Elijah was getting older, you know, he, he was two at the time. And then he, he just wanted to play. He just wanted to play, 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 play. And then I don't want to wake up on the weekends, you know, say, um, you know, and be hung over. I'm like, oh no, let daddy sleep real quick. That that's tired. So there, I wanted to stay rooted in my positive high of playing with him and be connected with him. And um, yeah, and, uh, you know, um, just being able to do what I want to do when I want to do without also worrying about like back pain or am I strong enough? Am I fit enough? And really staying rooted in my positive high of play through Elijah. So mm -hmm. that's one that, that was probably the origin story of the rooted parent movement uh, unofficially. And that was via the positive high. And then you know, transitioning um, into really focusing on parents uh, last August. Uh, and, and then, uh, you know, because the, the pandemic hit and, you know, parents were really staying 
uh, at home with, with, with their kids. So, um, you know, they're spending more time with, with their kids. So, so here it's like, uh, and so some parents that, that I talked to, they, they realized like how important their health was, not only for like the actual time being, but also for the future. You know I'm saying so they're like being there for, you know, the uh, momentous events of their child's life. Yeah. So like, you know, graduation or, you know, if and when they get married or even, you know, if and when they decide to have grandchildren, you know, they want to be there to enjoy that time, you know, uh, mentally, physically and spiritually. So, um, yeah, that's uh, the transition. And it's it, and then um, it's, you know, really parent movement is still staying rooted within my positive high system uh, mission. Right. Of, you know, becoming mentally and physically, um, you know, self-confident to do the things that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Right. So doing things that, you know, you enjoy, but also uh, physically and mentally working on yourself through, uh, you know, what people call, you know, training or workouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So or what I call it uh, for me, like uh, focused effort movement. Mm. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. much the, the origin of, you know, the rooted parent movement as far as, you know, me quitting drinking because I saw the cycle again of, mm -hmm. you know, uh, drinking, drinking. And then I actually had some wine in February 6th because it, it was our 10 year anniversary because now I'm oh, congrats I'm, <laughs> yeah because now I'm at the point where it's like oh I'm confident where I can have a sip and like yeah. you know, whatever yeah it's gonna that's, be. that's huge yeah. I mean I'm gonna point that out because I know I've, I have worked I mean in as a nurse and my other job and what I do I mean really working through folks and their addiction and a lot of it too is having not messy a lot of it but a key thing in knowing like where that awareness falls around like why pick up the drink or consistently do it as a habit so yeah. for you to even just know that now it shows me a lot it shows me that you do have a lot of control you know within yourself but again that also had taken practice not just yeah. practice but again being aware of what what you were doing why you were drinking and why you decided to go on that cycle over and over and over again but the parent stuff I mean I mean I'm new to being a parent myself or a step parent in this case so I I'm learning as I'm going along with you, like what it means to, for parents to really adjust their life in the pandemic. And you're right. A lot of them either lost their job. They had to work from home. Kids couldn't go to school. So you're absolutely right in saying that parents also need to stay healthy amidst all of these changes that are, I mean, now we're shifting, but at the time we're out of our control. So if I had a parent who had asked, let's say there was, you know, they're like, I, I don't know what to do about my health and where should I start? And if you were to give them like three simple tips, let's say this, this parent in particular, they have a young child, they're helping with homeschool, they're also working at their job full time while being at home, what would your advice be? Yeah, number one is, uh, you know, keep doing what you do well, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, like really pinpoint on the things that, that you're already doing well. And then, you know, from, from there, that, that can be your, your, your foundation to, to, to build upon. Because in there, it's like a lot of times, you know, uh, we're, we're guilty of, you know, uh, looking beyond what we have right now. Yeah. So, so like, uh, you know, I'm guilty of that too, right? So, so there, it's like really focusing on the things that you do, already do well, say, uh, if your focus is nutrition, it's like, okay, like, what do you do well right now? It's like, oh, I feel pretty good with my water intake. It was like, oh, okay, cool. Let's talk about that. And then there is like uh, really build upon the things that you're already doing well and like oh what, what about your movement what do you do it's like oh i don't really you know move a lot it, it's like okay was we'll, you know start start where you're at st start with what you can do and um uh and you know just get get better yeah so that's number one is like really uh pinpointing the things that you're you're doing well right now yeah so and then um you know no, number two as far as you know um having all of this, this stuff here is, you know, um, fi finding out also, um, you know, a, a, lot, a lot of people say like, you know, your, your why and everything like that. But, but, but here it's, it's, it's like really diving deeper into um, not necessarily uh, your, your why, but, but also like, like future pacing and like future pacing and, and seeing, um, you know, how you want your um, future to be with yourself, with your, your child, and, uh, you know, you can also uh, do this within, uh, you know, a three month span, six month span. So whatever you feel comfortable with, it's, you know, that that future pace. And mm -hmm. then th then there, that's going to get into your why, because in most parents are going to say like, oh, I want to get healthy for my kids or, or whatever. And then once you find that, 
you know, they say like, ask five, five more why's. It's like, why is that important to you? And then you, you get, get that answer and you go, why is that important to you? And you go, why, why is that important to you? And then you get dive, diving deeper, deeper into that, that onion layer, right? And then there you'll get into that, that true reason where you have that, you know, desire right now. And then you have that, that, that future desire. Yeah. So there you're, you're pinpointing the stuff that, you know, you're doing well right now. And then you're getting your, your, your desires. And then um, uh, number, number three is the simple thing is just play with your kids, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't want to get too deep with it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, like set some time to just like play with your children. You know what I'm saying? Set like, you know, 15 minutes of, of uninterrupted playtime. Yeah. So like just, just you and your kids or even like just going outside for, for a walk. Yeah. Mm. So there it's like, that's, you know, the, the quick bang for your buck type of type of tip right there. It's like, just, especially for parents with, with uh, young children is, is really just, um, you know, uh, says setting aside that, that the quality time, like of uninterrupted playtime. Mm. Yeah. No, these are great. So first off is do what you're doing well and continue. I'm just summarizing or yeah. paraphrasing. Number two is knowing your why, but having a vision about three to six months out of what what would what you want to see for yourself and your child and from there dig into the deeper why yeah yeah well and number three is to just play with your kids and i have some people commenting right here quality time is so important you're absolutely right josephine i i can't i think for all of us just to have what's the word i want authentic time yeah right being present in what you're doing especially with your kids and kids are a great example of they know how to be present yeah even tell you like hey get off your phone or pay attention to me or you know what i mean they're very pure in that way yeah so just as a reminder because i know as adults as we grow older we have multiple things that we're doing that we're multitasking so making it like intentional time mm -hmm. and therefore it's enjoyable for your not for your kid but also just for yourself to play and i had a i had a guest in january who always talked about like with patients in terms of healing just play and it's so interesting to use that word as an adult because i think some of us like my impulse is like play yeah what time for play what, what does play mean but no it's great to bring it back even in this context for for folks who actually who are parents and have children mm -hmm. just play with them mm -hmm. that way it brings out that playful part of you and that happy child yeah yeah yeah, yeah that you know they, they always say that you know, your inner child right yeah bring out that the inner child so oh so powerful i love it i love love what i see your pictures with elijah yeah what do you guys do for play Oh, you have a set schedule with him. Like every day you make time to, uh, play with him or yeah. So it, it depends on my, my sessions and stuff as, as far as like, um, uh, sessions and also his, his distance learning. But, um, usually, uh, he has like a 10 minute break in between his, his, uh, his, his two hour, um, uh, time slot. So we'll play then. And then, yeah, basically, um, if, uh, I, I have, I have breaks, uh, as far as like in, in between clients, like, all right, dude, I, I got a uh, 10 minutes. Let's, uh, let, Let's, let's, let's play for 10 minutes or and then uh um, lunchtime we usually walk outside and then we, we have our, uh, our front yard there's flowers and he, he likes looking at the bees now so so mm -hmm. like we just go outside and like observe the bees yeah <laughs> so yeah like uh getting that that outside uh sunshine um you know during the day uh with him and all this stuff because i I'm, I'm working from home right mm -hmm. so yeah so and then as far as that and then the weekends like um, sun, uh, Sundays we usually do an outside adventure depending on you know um, uh, when, when we do groceries and stuff mm -hmm. and then uh, Mondays and Tuesdays we, we for sure always go to the park and then he's, he's usually uh, running around and, and making some friends at the park and stuff so but um, yeah as, as far as that like the, the structure it, it is like during the days like having you know those, those pockets of times to, mm -hmm. to really move and, and play with him so love it no i love it i i think this is definitely useful for parents who are struggling you know to make time mm -hmm. and i mean there are i mean i mean everyone's situation is very unique but i like how you're highlighting simple things that they can do and finding those what i like to call you call pocket times i call them those bite-sized times yeah and yeah it's not even a lot you're right like 15 20 minutes even setting that timer on the phone could just make that make the difference but no that's perfect thank mm -hmm. you for sharing those tips no, yeah, yeah, and then there it's like uh, you know, um, also having them them choose. You know what I'm saying? 
So, so like having them them choose the games or like having them to you know set the timer. We're like, oh hey, how about you set the timer for for fifteen minutes so that that gives them like empowerment and stuff. Yeah. So that yeah. um, shout out to my friend Stacy. Uh, you know, um, we're doing a, a spring to summer um series as far as um you know parenting and uh you know uh, your your own holistic health. And this is via my uh, my Facebook group, the Rooted Parent Movement. Um, yeah, and then we 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 talked about um, uh, strength and and um, parenting games. So really giving yourself a choice through activity, and also giving your your, your child a choice to mm-hmm. have them choose. It, it, even like say for example, climbing trees. Like for me, telling Elijah, oh hey, put your foot here, put your foot here, put your hand there. But having them vice versa or flipping it. Uh, having him tell me what to do is like, hey, where do you think I should put my foot, or, or where do you think I, or, or where do you think I should put put, put uh, my hand? So they're empowering them to have that power of choice also work. So like during during the games and stuff, you can have your child uh, lead, right? So yeah, there it's a a powerful um, aspect there as far as like planting seeds of you know choice, right? Mm. No, that is powerful. I mean, I will say in my experience so far, like. Uh, my stepson's seven years old so I'm also understanding what that how important it is for kids to have a choice so it gives them a moment to to build those skills of critical thinking but you're Mm -hmm. right and also empower them as well so when that they're older they know how to think through things um, in a much more like expanded you know mindset that it's not limited that they have choices so Mm -hmm. that's great Sergio no yeah thanks wow I'm like I mean because I told you this new this parent hood is all new is all new to me as well so I, I, I even for me I appreciate the advice and playtime is something I mean I'm guilty of like even I don't see him every day but it's sometimes hard for me to steer away from not doing work whether I'm at you know working on this coaching practice or doing my other job like it's it's hard so I'm also trying to build that awareness around it so thank you mm-hmm. oh, that's mm-hmm. awesome so what in your journey now with with your clients and now working with parents since August what kind of changes have you seen so you can give like an example of a client or even just trends of this is what most parents feel in the beginning and after working with you, what you're noticing now that has changed. Yeah. So I think for, uh, you know, not only just parents, but, you know, also my, my clients who, who, who aren't parents, it, it's really giving them themselves the, the space to grow. You know what I'm saying? And, and like really um, uh, investing in themselves and realizing that once they, you know, really truly invest in themselves, in, in, in their growth, that's when, you know, um, uh, the big things happen because they're giving themselves uh, that, that platform to, to succeed. They're, they're actually giving themselves that, that plot of land, right. Mm-hmm. To, to plant their seed. Right. So uh, there it's like, um, that's the, the one thing that I've realized too, along the journey is it doesn't have to be complicated, dude. Like, a lot of times, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know if you go through this, but, you know, as, as coaches, like sometimes we have this big grand scheme thing. We, we want to bring our, our clients through. It's like, oh, yeah, they're going to go through all this. But then now realizing that it, it is, you know, uh, you know, keep it simple. Right. Keep, kiss. Keep it simple, Serge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So like uh, I like it. I like that. Yeah. So like uh, truly realizing that, uh, you know, that simplicity of things, like even like, you know, drinking water or even the playtime or even, you know, getting that, you know, five minutes in the morning before the kids wake up to go outside and take that the deep breath or even go outside to enjoy your, your coffee or enjoy a, a cup of tea before the, the day starts. Like that shifts everything or even, you know, getting, uh, you know, some movement in just, you know, uh, five, 10, 15 minutes of movement in the morning we'll we'll set your day so you basically like setting your day your way yeah mm-hmm. so there it's um you know um really finding this like buffet of simple goodness and bringing it in together as as opposed to like you know like old school well not necessarily old school style but it's like all right we're gonna work on your macros today we're gonna get my fitness pal and and, and we're gonna you know uh track all of your calories and all this other stuff i realized that you know not only parents, but just, you know, everyone in general, the men- mental bandwidth of everything, especially the grand scheme of pandemic and all, all this other stuff. It's like keeping it simple is the most powerful thing that we, we can do. Mm-hmm. Right. So 
No, I, I absolutely agree. And just I, with the clients I've worked with too, yeah, sometimes we have this vision and we can see where they, you know, we, where we want them to go, but essentially the client is the one to make their own choices and guide that journey. And you just, you're a guide on that journey yeah. and keeping it simple. I use like the term small steps, right? Yeah. To make it more manageable, easy while multitasking other parts of their life. So I, I totally hear what you're saying about that. And it's true. I mean, those small steps, once you practice, become the long-term change. And that's mm -hmm. huge. A lot of people go for the big leap and they jump right ahead without enjoying the journey for what it is and truly learning and soaking that in. So yeah. from what you see with your clients, what, what, what have you seen as a change overall, some themes that you've seen since you've worked? I mean, I know with parents or any clients you've worked with since the yeah. pandemic. No, yeah. So, um, you know, that's, that, that's a theme right there as far as, you know, um, you know, them realizing that it, that doesn't have to be this whole crazy lifestyle shift 180 action it can be you know small steps small incremental changes added in through uh week week by week so and just having the layers onto um you know creating that change for themselves and then eventually week by week they, they they're growing week by week they're improving week by week they're, they're nourishing themselves and, you know, they may not feel like it, but then at, you know, the four week mark, you, you look at all, all the things that, that they've accomplished. It's like, oh, shoot, dang, I already have like four or five new habits that I've been doing this week. Mm -hmm. And then within a 12 week program, you know, if you have one habit per, per week, that, that's already 12 solid habits uh, for that, that, that three month span. Right. So there that's uh, one like, uh, I guess, like powerful common theme that I've seen is, you know, um, uh, allowing themselves their growth like their own way so and what I feel like I'm good at as far as you know that I, I just finished my um uh, we'll, we're at our six week mark for my Spartan positive high program and um you know they're saying that you know uh, having that space of not judging themselves and because uh, it was a group program and having that space to be on this journey of growth with within themselves but with one another and having this space of you know um safe space and 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 uh, non-judgment that's the common theme that i've been seeing for most of my clients as far as like what they've been saying as far as their experience so amazing yeah that's, that's really <laughs> awesome i'm so happy that you're doing this work and, and providing that safe space for parents because you're right when sometimes doing it in communities it's just it's very powerful when you have people that you can relate to and you don't you know feel alone mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh love it right Sorry acknowledging it no that's that's amazing because i like i said i've seen you shift a, um, a lot and in good ways you know throughout the years and noticing how much more you're putting yourself out there how your how your son is really a big part of your life so it's amazing to see how these pieces all fit together for you and where you are now in 2021 so so amazing so amazing are there any other parts of your story that you want to share you know with the community of anything or any events i know you mentioned it earlier but just going uh just gonna ask you again it's just so if anyone tunes in later for the replay what can where can they find you what events yeah i know you have one that's tba but what events are coming up yeah so uh basically in, in the uh the facebook group the rooted parent uh movement uh nourish your mental and physical self you, you can join that group there um and we have our, our, our spring into summer series so basically we have um uh different topics so like we had part one and part two and it's every two weeks on a monday at 8 a.m uh west coast time so basically, uh, you know, it's uh, the past two weeks, we talked about physical strength and parenting gains. And then we're going into for the next two weeks for June is overcoming self-doubt. So uh, uh, overcoming self-doubt. And, you know, it's perfect that, that we talked about starting somewhere and starting small, because that's going to be uh, one of the topics that, and that my uh, friend Stacy is going to talk about. And she's actually leading these talks here. So um, I'm just facilitating and being the host. And um, yeah, so basically that's going to be June is overcoming self-doubt. It's, it's every two weeks on a Monday uh, at 8 a.m. Uh, West Coast time. And then, um, yeah, so we got that. And then we got uh, my, my, my beta program, the, the Rooted Parent Movement. Uh, it, it's a small group program. So it's going to be um, uh, 10 parents going and growing through this six-week journey together to, you know, um, level up their um, and nourish their, their mindset, their movement, their nutrition, the restoration, the stress management, sleep, and, you know, having the supportive environment together to, to grow together to, like, like you're saying in my bio, to, um, you know, feel and stay rooted within their positive high 
so mm -hmm. that they feel like their younger selves again, so they can, you know, better take care of themselves and take care of their kids and enjoy their time with their children. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, um, TBA for that one. Uh, and then um, I also have uh, a workshop in the um, Rooted Parent Movement group that, that I'm working on here too. So um, th that one's also TBA as far as the, the date and all the good stuff. But cool. yeah, as far as also uh, working with me one-on-one, uh, -on -one, I'm, I'm, I'm in taking uh, clients for uh, the uh, personal and private um, uh, coaching program. So that one's a 12 week intensive where we go through the, the whole shebang dude from the beginning till, you know, that, that 90 day mark of, you know, where you want to be and how you see yourself, not only like as, as, as a parent, but as, as a person and really, you know, uh, like they say, like filling your cup and, and really nourishing yourself so that, you know, once you nourish your roots and then you have your children's roots and then you're going to nourish each other's roots where you guys are just feeling super solid together where mm -hmm. um, you know you're feeling your positive high all all day yeah <laughs> no that's awesome thank you for but is there is there one location if people like give a website that where all this information is yeah so uh if, if you go on my um my instagram you can go to uh, uh my link tree and you, you can actually go into um you can book a, uh, a discovery call with me and then there i, I like to call it the first date so basically <laughs> yeah that's a good one yeah we'll just basically talk and like you know see cool you know, where you're at and, and you know, see uh, if, if, if we vibe and then, you know, um, you know, really uh, seeing where, you know, highlighting what, what you want to do and, and, and then seeing if we're a good fit with that. And then, you know, you, you can DM me Facebook. Um, I'm pretty active uh, with the DMs on Facebook and stuff. You can join the, the Rooted Parent Movement Facebook group. Um, but yeah, so just multiple layers of, of how you, you, can, you can actually reach me. So, you know, Facebook, you can DM um instagram we got the link tree you can book, book your call if, if you're if you're vibing with me it's like oh shoot i just want to talk more with Serge and see how he can help me with you know my my, my health fitness and wellness um but yeah it's, it's it's basically if you know deep down inside that you know you want to feel better and then eventually you know um uh, feel better in, in order to enjoy your life with your children and eventually plus too like a, a lot of people get into uh, my programs too, uh, as far as like, um, they may have that secondary goal of, you know, aesthetics and, you know, uh, losing weight and everything. And, um, once you begin to, you know, shift your habits and your behaviors and stuff, your, your body is going to transform into what it actually naturally wants to be. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it's a, it's a powerful shift once you realize that. So Oh, I love that. I love how you how you phrase that very perfectly about who you become, who you naturally are supposed to be. So yeah, that's, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Sergio, for sharing your story, going really deep into that, sharing what you do, which is amazing work and amazing focus to truly. I mean, even fo just just the specialty of parents alone is I think is, is great to have out there. So if any of you parents, you need a shift in your life and trying to figure out how to get your kids involved or even just have the energy to be present with your kids because it does start with you and it does start with where you are with your health first. Serge yeah. is the guy to go to. And I've seen, I've worked out with him before, like as, a, as one of his clients for a couple of sessions. And he is really great to work out with, really moving the body in a natural flow, which is really nice. But Sergio, thank you so much for being on this live talk. I will share in the chat your IG info and Facebook so they just know where to find you. But this has been amazing to have you on for me. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for doing what you do. Nice. No, yeah, thank you. Yeah, and then like, um, like I was saying too, it's like, you know, especially for these programs here, it, it is mainly focusing on the parent. Mm -hmm. Focusing on yourself because my whole thing is like, once you nourish yourself, you can nourish your children and then you can nourish your community. So there it's, you know, staying rooted within your positive eye and, and really nourishing and uh, creating that, um, you know, uh, positive uh, momentum and nourishment within yourself. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing, man. I love it. No, it's great. I, I can tell that you're very happy about what you do too, and you're passionate about it. I can feel that from you. So again, guys, this is, this is the May edition of Real Talk, Transform Your Energy in 2021 with Sergio. Please watch the whole thing if you haven't watched it to just get info. Check him out on Instagram at Rooted Parent Movement, or you could search for him on Facebook through his name, Sergio Jaime Spagare. He is on there and connect with him. He is a great soul and he's a great being. 
But until next time, um, the next talk for June will be on June 22nd, more details to come. But for now, thank you for being with us. Thank you for watching the replay, sending good vibes and have a good day. Bye thank everyone. You. Yes. <laughs>